One of the stories that I tell when I do my, live, my tour of Live Oak Cemetery is the story of the unfortunate Helen Griffin. Mrs. Griffin had owned a racehorse at one time. And even though she no longer owned a racehorse, she still followed horse racing. And at that time, the first racetrack at Santa Anita was in operation. That one was put in service by Lucky Baldwin and then was shut down in 1909. This was 1908. So Mrs. Griffin apparently rented a room here in Monrovia, but she spent, when racing was in season at Santa Anita, she spent her days at the racetrack. Another local resident, residence, was Mr. U.Z. de Arma and his wife and their small children. He was a horse trainer who also worked at the race Santa Anita racetrack when the season was there in, in operation. Word came back to Mrs. De Arman that Mrs. Griffin and her husband were perhaps a little bit too cozy. And she began to wonder, uh oh, what does this mean? Finally, she decided that this, quote, cozy relationship, unquote, could possibly threaten her marriage, especially when she learned that racing was going to move north to the San Francisco Bay Area, and that both her husband and Mrs. Griffin were planning to follow the racing season there. So as the old saying goes, desperate situations call for desperate measures. So armed with a revolver, Mrs. DeArman, who knew Mrs. Griffin's patterns, decided she was going to hide in the post office lobby knowing that Mrs. Griffin, after her visit to the racetrack and before going home, stopped by the post office to pick up mail that might have been delivered to her post office box. So she waited, and she waited, and finally she saw Mrs. Griffin approaching, wearing a large, broad-brimmed hat, which was typical of women for that time. So Mrs. Griffin entered the post office, walked to her box, leaned down to open it up, and that's when Mrs. Griffin's, Mrs. De Arman sprung into action. She fired a shot. She missed. She fired another shot. She missed. She fired a third time. Finally, she hit poor Mrs. Griffin, a bullet to the head. She collapsed on the spot, dead. Fern Umbach, whose father had a tailor shop down the street told me her part of the story. She was visiting her father after school in his tailor shop. She heard the shots, went up the street to the post office, which at that time was in the 600 block of South Myrtle Avenue. And she said she stood there on the sidewalk in the front looking through the large plate glass window into the post office lobby and saw this body on the floor. And she said, I'll never forget the image of that woman lying there with blood dripping from the large hat pin that had her fastened her hat to her head on the post office lobby floor. What happened to Mrs. De Arman? Well, she was taken before Judge Holloway of the Municipal Court. He listened to the case. He listened to the facts. He listened to Mrs. De Arman's plea. And he looked at her and he said, my poor dear, what you've been through. I rule this to be a case of justifiable homicide. Case dismissed. And then he looked at her and said, oh, my poor dear, go home to your children. What about Mrs. Griffin? Well, she had few few funds of her own. Her friends were unable to defray the cost of sending her body to the East Coast for burial. And so she is buried unmarked pauper's grave at Live Oak Cemetery. The moral of the story is, don't mess around at the racetrack. <laughs>